Six Hour Guy here, welcome to the video. This is going to be a quick video on how to remove, clean, and reinstall the uh, firing pin assembly for the Six Hour P226. Um, I have a spring kit that comes with the spring, so that's the reason why I wanna take that out, uh, replace that spring, and clean everything up. So I figured what a perfect time to make a video. Uh, a couple tools you're gonna need, armor's block, a hammer, and a few punches. There's a pin here that needs to be drifted out so that's why you need the hammer and punches. So uh, with that, let's get started. Okay, first things first, let's make sure we're working on a safe weapon. So we're gonna physically make sure there's no round in the chamber. We're gonna rotate our takedown lever, remove our slide, and set that aside. I'll remove my guide rod and recoil spring and my barrel until I'm left with just the slide. So basically, the only thing we need to do here is we need to drift this pin out. And then there is a safety lock here, which needs to be pushed in while we're removing our firing pin, which is located right here. You can already see it. So just like your sights, the firing or this a roll pin goes from right to left, okay? The same way you take your sights off on the SIG pistols. So basically, I'm gonna find a hole in my armor's block here, line that up with the hole. And I'm just gonna use my hammer and punch. And I'm gonna punch that pin straight through. So my punch isn't long enough. So once I get it most of the way out, I'm gonna to switch to this one and push that the rest of the way out just like that. And there's my pin. So when I pull this out, I'm just going to put my finger over the end just to make sure that that does not come popping out, which it shouldn't, um, until I push in my safety lock, which is right here. And you can see how it actually just popped out on its own there a little bit. So you can almost get this all the way out, and then you're going to feel it catch. And it'll basically be catching on that safety lock right there so you just click into one of the grooves on the firing pin so I'll push this in some more and I'll pull that all the way out so there's your firing pin and then your safety lock is under spring tension too so make sure that doesn't come flying out of there on you and that just pulls straight up and out uh, and pay attention to how this came out basically it's got a high step and a low step on there the high step was facing towards the rear, like that. And then we'll pull this spring out as well. Okay. So basically your firing pin spring, you can just pull that right off. Mine actually looks a little bit deformed there on the end. Um, so I'm going to replace this while I have this all taken apart. The new spring, you can see it's tapered on one end and it's not tapered on the other end. The tapered end is what goes over the firing pin and it's got a little groove here that it'll snap into. Okay. Now it's captured on there. So make sure you clean up your whole firing pin before you put all that back together. And then on the cavity here, just like the striker cleaning videos that I've done in the past on the 320 and 365, we're going to want to put some bore cleaner or something in there to loosen up all that carbon that eventually makes its way through there, through the hole here where your firing pin goes through. So once that sits in there for a little while, we can use a Q-tip. Just kind of stuff it in there and rotate it around. Keep putting them in there and out of there until it keeps there. It comes out nice and clean. We don't want any lubrication or anything in there in the end. We want it completely bone dry. You want your firing pin completely dry, okay? Um, so let me clean up the rest of this stuff and then we'll reassemble everything. Okay, now that everything's all nice and cleaned up, we'll reassemble everything. We'll take our safety lock spring. We'll drop that down into the hole. Make sure it's standing up nice and centered. And then we'll take our safety lock and put that in just the way it came out with this high step facing the rear. You can see how it's got the ledge there in the back. So we want that facing towards the rear. And 
and then we'll take our firing pin which has these flat spots on it that needs to be facing straight up so because my slides upside down we want those facing straight down we'll start to slide that in there pushing on our safety lock and now go almost all the way and then you can actually see how my safety lock is recessed right now when I push this the rest of the way you'll hear it click into place and then that will actually come up a little bit locking my firing pin where it needs to be okay so the next step is putting the roll pin in okay on your roll pin one side is a little bit bigger than the other so you can kind of put that in the hole and you can feel which one goes in a little bit further which is that one right there now a good idea maybe to mark it when you drift it out put a sharpie mark on one end that way you know which way it goes back in if you're not entirely sure so now when we pound this in it's going to hit the firing pin at some point so uh, we don't want that to happen so I'm going to start hammering this in just to get it started and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my punch I'm going to push in on my firing pin and hold it like that when I hammer that just about all the way in. And that there is plenty. Now you can let go of your firing pin. And then I'll use my brass punch to get it just about all the way in. And then I'll use my steel punch, which is a little bit smaller, to countersink that just a little bit. So it's about the same on both sides, which it is. So always use brass, nylon, soft metals like that so you don't ruin the finish on your firearm, okay? So now that that's all done, we'll reinstall our barrel guide rod and recoil spring. Reassemble it onto our frame. Rotate the down letter, letter. And there you go. Very simple process, very easy. Um, it's a good step to add in your preventive maintenance every now and then. Obviously you don't have to do that every single time you go to the range or something, but once in a while it's definitely a good idea. Um, and then it's a good idea to change that spring out every now and then as well. So. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.